Hello and welcome to another 3D Survey tutorial. Today I'll teach you everything about azimuth measurements in 3D Survey and where you may need to use them. You probably know, but in case you don't, azimuth is a horizontal angle measured clockwise from north to a target point, expressed in degrees from 0 to 360. In the real world, that's the info that Compass gives you, but in software, it is actually calculated from grid north. Anyways, now we've got the technicalities out of the way, let's see some scenarios that convinced us to include this feature. First, solar power plant roof orientation. When you've got a 3D model of a building, simply drag your measurement down the roof slope. And there's your azimuth. But that was pretty fast. You can also combine your measurement with drawing on a plane and object UCS. This way, you can lock your measurement to be exactly parallel to the roof slope. When we draw the line along the roof, we simply lock the perpendicularity and draw our measurements from here. You do that by hitting F8. This way, you can be most accurate. And now you have all the measurements you need, and you're a step closer to finishing your project. And very soon, your roof will have all these panels on it. Here we have another case. In geologic mapping, the most important value you can measure on a field is a strike and dip of your rock formation. Normally, you would do this with geologic compass. Here, we'll have a try with videogrammetry and CAD in 3D survey. This sort of outcrop is especially difficult to measure because we only have access from the bottom of the layer. Now because I set my custom plane to match the bedding plane of the layer, I can measure it anywhere. I just have to click and find the point where the descent is steepest. Now the layer of this outcrop dips 12.7 degrees towards the southwest. In our final case we're interested in which direction these antenna panels are facing. We could simply pull out our measurement, but that would be inaccurate. A better way would be to go above the antenna and snap our measurements to this circle. It has been pre-drawn also here in 3D survey. The direction you draw your line is important. Always drag towards the direction you're interested in and not the other way around. Let's check it also from the top-down ortho mode. It looks perfect. And these were our top three use cases. Let us know what you use it for. Thanks for watching this tutorial and see you next time.